This Dan Sianca. Dan, what are you tracking for us tonight? We're tracking a storm system, Aaron, and with that, we've been seeing some temperature changes. It was nice and warm out there yesterday and it has cooled off significantly across Santa Cruz County today where we're seeing readings in the 50s right now 67 for example in at Soledad. So definitely seeing some temperature changes out there as this uh, weather system starts to move through. Notice uh, the warmer readings to the south right now and the cooler readings are off to the north and that's because the front hasn't really moved through our area completely yet. So so look at our big clouds and precipitation map. The swirl of low pressure back here, the actual frontal boundary coming through California like this. You can see it stretching right down to here on the central coast and so far we've seen rain across most of Santa Cruz County, the Monterey Peninsula to some extent, even the east shore of the bay here in Salinas just hasn't really got going just yet, but a few sprinkles uh, here uh, in some areas, certainly within the moment, next few moments as this is just right on our doorstep here in Salinas, but elsewhere, the southern Salinas Valley, you haven't seen anything yet, and it will take some time for that moisture to make its way to you late this evening. So let's look at future cast uh, by 7 p.m. We can see the front now moving into Salinas, Hollister, perhaps Carmel Valley down to Big Sur as well, and then eventually it's going to push farther inland. But due to the trajectory of these winds, we're going to see some rain shadowing. So the Salinas Valley probably won't see a lot of precip tonight, probably just some very light stuff all the way to the south side of Salinas. The, when, when we have situations like this with these southwesterly winds, the north side of Salinas can see twice as much or maybe even three times as much rain as the south side of town because you just have a little bit better vector toward the ocean and toward those onshore winds, whereas Santa Cruz County will continue to see light rain late tonight, even though the frontal boundary has passed the south southerly and southwesterly winds will keep pushing moisture up into the Santa Cruz Mountains and it just kind of acts as this filter and starts to pull rain drops out of it. And that will happen also down along the Big Sur coast as well as we head into the late evening hour. So even though by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning that system's gone, it's snowing up in the Sierra, we're still seeing some wind driven precipitation up in the coastal hills, those southwest facing slopes. So some moisture will continue through the overnight in the coastal mountains, whereas in the valleys that activity will start to die down. Can't rule out a few more sprinkles tomorrow afternoon, especially across Santa Cruz County and up in the hills. Things should wind down a little bit tomorrow night, although some low clouds may produce some additional drizzle. Additional precipitation on top of what we've seen so far, upwards of a quarter of an inch for most cities around the bay, perhaps a little bit more as you head toward western Santa Cruz County and higher up into the mountains. But inland areas, see, you're not going to see all that much, mostly just a few hundredths of an inch for most of our inland valleys as you'll be rain shadow from this event. Tomorrow, temperature staying somewhat mild. I mean, they could be cooler, but this is more of a Pacific front, so it's coming in out of the west as opposed to the north. North. It's not dragging that cold air down with it, just the cool, moist Pacific air. So we're going to be back to 60 in Santa Cruz tomorrow, which is cool for this time of year and staying in the 50s with southerly winds coming up into the Santa Cruz Mountains. Watsonville and Salinas staying in the 60s tomorrow, actually pretty close to normal, 68 in Hollister and uh, 65 tomorrow in Marina. Monterey tomorrow staying in the mid-60s as well, but we'll be in the 50s in Pebble Beach as you'll have the wind coming in off of the water. Farther to the south, highs in the Salinas Valley staying in the 60s tomorrow. Again, still a pretty mild air mass uh, behind this system, so don't expect a huge cool down, although the next week is going to be rather cool. So we'll get a couple more little pushes of cooler air out of the north as we head into Thursday and Friday. Notice the high temperatures on the coast keep going down all the way into the weekend. And the lows do as well. We'll have some drier air in place. And while we'll have a lot of sunshine in the afternoons, I expect it'll be kind of cool and crisp as we head into this weekend. Maybe a travel weekend for you as we head into the Thanksgiving week. Now, as we look at our inland forecast, it'll be cooler and breezy Thursday and Friday. Mornings on Saturday and Sunday may be frosty in those inland valleys, but some warming is expected as we head through midweek next week. We're back after this.